And of course, the first step for working on any firearm is to make sure it is free and clear of all ammunition. First, we'll remove the magazine. Magazine release on the high point C9 is right here. You simply push in on that. That will release the magazine. As you can see, the magazine is free and clear. And open up the chamber area, and we can see the chamber area is also free and clear. Now we can look at the controls and features of the High Point C9. The High Point C9 has a polymer frame with a Zamic metal slide. There is a hardened steel component uh, in, in various parts where uh, the strength is required. Obviously the barrel it would be steel. Uh, this is the magazine release as already indicated. It is a single action striker fired pistol. The striker is in the slide. This is the safety. Down would be fire. You've got the red dot there. If you lift up, that would put it on safe. It also locks the slide from being able to move. You can also manually lock the slide open by pulling the slide back and engaging the safety in that notch. Sorry, you can pull it back. And like that, that would lock the slide open. Other controls. Uh, currently this has the two dot rear sight. It is adjustable for both windage with that screw there and elevation with that screw. It's got a front uh, sight blade. Uh, the front sight blade is cast integral to the frame. The rear sight is a uh, plastic piece uh, that's screwed into the, the top of the slide with that Allen screw right there. On this side of the pistol, there is a what they call a viewing port right here where the extractor goes. This is an external extractor and there is a slight little space right there. If there were a cartridge in there, you'd be able to see the, the brass edge of the rim. In this picture here, you can see where the brass uh, edge of the rim is showing through the viewport window to show that it is uh, loaded. And that pretty much sums up the controls and features of the High Point C9 pistol. It's a mid-sized pistol that for its size is on the heavy side. That's due to its simple blowback operation which needs that weight in the slide to safely control the ejection speed. While not an elegant firearm by any description, they are known for being rugged and durable. We'll be taking this one out to the range soon to check it out and do a range day review of it, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.